Here's a Fisher projection example where we want to look at these four molecules and see how they're related. Oh. Yeah. So uh, you can see they're all pretty similar. They all have methyls on top and bottom, and they all have two chlorines, so they're all two, three dichlorobutane. But the stereochemistry at the second and third carbon are different in each case. Well, uh, remember, the thing to remember with Fisher projections is you can flip them 180 like this within the plane, but you cannot flip them like a pancake. And the reason for that is these horizontal lines represent wedges coming towards you. So flipping like a pancake would mess up uh, the stereochemistry. So if you look at these two, you just want to compare likes with likes. Look at these two. If you flip, say, the first one 180, it'll look like the third one. <laughs> okay? They will be totally identical. So that is, they are the same compound. Uh, they're identical. We call this kind of compound where there is a plane of symmetry in the middle a meso compound, M-E-S-O. Now if you take a look at the other two, you can see that these, the second and the fourth one, if you flip one 180 degrees, they don't match up. So this Cl flipped 180 will go up to this position and that doesn't match up with the hydrogen. Uh, so they don't match up that way. However, through, if you can imagine a mirror plane through kind of the center of this third molecule, CLs match up, H's match up, these CLs match, and these H's match, and then the methyl groups of course match. These are mirror images, what we call these in and tumors. They're non superimposable mirror images. So, how do you compare the really one meso compound to the enantiomers? These to each other are called diastereomers. And likewise, these to each other are diastereomers. A diastereomer is matching up two uh, compounds that are similar stereochemically, but are not enantiomers, and obviously not identical to each other. So that's that example.